Hey there, Hot Monkeys. Welcome back. It's Corey. It's a new week, a new edition of the Banana Bunch Report for the week of July 3rd, 2006. Happy 4th of July. Independence Day! Came in today ready for a little red, white, and booze, but there's nobody else here. In the entire building, nobody. Just me and the music monkey, and he's still passed out from the Monkey's Gone Wild weekend. Banana Bunch had a great past week. Wait a second. If there's nobody in the building... So anyways, the Banana Bunch had a really great past week. We had um, the Devil Wears Prada movie premiere. Let's check out how long this line is. Look how long this line is waiting to get into the movie. Wait, hang on. Wait. Wait, can we bring this back real quick? Rewind this. Let's look at this guy. Look at this guy right here in the blue shirt. Now watch this. I don't know if he's really shy or if he's a superhero hiding a secret identity. But as soon as our camera approaches, without saying anything to the people he's with, he beelines off screen. Strategically keeping his face off the camera. And, you know, you, you can't see it on the clip here, but he actually goes into a phone booth and puts on a cape. Now we're going to continue through the line here a little bit more. Wait, hang on. Wait, stop it. Oh, that's spooky. Look at that. Let's get a little bit closer. Right there. Wow, that's... Whoa. Can you see that? That poor man's soul is possessed by the spirit of George Michael. His shirt's haunted or something. Oh, I don't know what, but something definitely is going on fishy here. Oh, there you go. That explains it. That gentleman's obviously hiding from this woman because they wore the exact same outfit to the movie. I've been there. I feel bad for you, buddy. That's embarrassing. Let's move through the line some more. Whoa, hold it right there. Do you see this? Now, I'm no dating expert, but arms crossed, her on the phone, and enough space between you to open a Starbucks, not a good sign. Let me tell you what her phone conversation sounds like right here. Hi, Michelle, you know that date you set me up on? He took me to a free movie. He won tickets from the radio. We're all the way in the back of the line. He's not even wearing socks. Once we got inside the theater, Banana Bunch Teresa organized this crazy cross-dressing contest. The Hot Monkey Wears Prada for a chance for our listeners to win some cool prizes. Go! Okay, come on, cheer him on, cheer him on! Yeah, That's yeah, Monkey Boy there on the left. Here we go, here we go. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. We got a fashion, we got a skirt under number three. And number four is putting on the t-shirt and not ripping up. Now, from that camera angle, you can't really see the end of the race. So instead, this weekend, Banana Bunch Brian and I strapped on the high heels and skirts and performed a spot-on recreation of the photo finish. Also last week, uh, Jack FM was hanging out at Belmont Park. I like Jack FM. I mean, Jack FM, it's the effing best. Look at me, I'm just white. I'm like the best. They have something new at Belmont Park. Uh, it's really cool. Next to the roller coaster, the new time machine. Banana Bunch Brian actually got to try it out. All right, time to ride the time machine. Here we go, guys.
Now, you might remember last week's Banana Bunch report featured some video from Jack at the Del Mar Fair. The crowd at the Jack FM booth was so big, they had to call in crowd control. I was back at the fair this weekend, and there was a different radio station that was set up in the exact same spot that we had. But something was different, though. Coming up this week on Jack, uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, 776. Almost lucky. Jack will be at the Pearl Jam concert. Rockin' to Pearl Jam. That's where we'll be. That's Friday. From 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. That's at Cox Arena. Go Aztecs! Brian, Corey, Nina, Kenny, uh-huh. You got it. Saturday, July 8th. You can't spell a good time will be had by all without the goodwill. That's where we'll be. Saturday, 12 to 2. Come out there and pick up a Chipotle burrito on us. Both days we'll have the jackpot, prizes, bonus codes, pony rides. I'm sorry, that's not true. There's not going to be any pony rides. All right, Hot Monkeys, this is the part of every Banana Bunch report where we reach into the mailbox and we answer questions submitted from Hot Monkeys like you. Today's question comes from Tom in Poway. Tom writes, Dear Banana Bunch, Why are the Jack offices closed on July 3rd, the day before Independence Day? That's not even a holiday. What is this, a joke? How'd Tom know we were closed and not me? Tom and Poway, I'm sorry, I just, I don't think I'm qualified to answer your question. If you have a question you'd like to have answered by the Banana Bunch, email them to this address, and we'll do our best to answer them. And if we choose your question for the Banana Bunch report, we'll hook you up with a thousand free bananas. All right, Hot Monkeys, so you know where we've been, and you know where we'll be. So we'll see you this Friday night at the Pearl Jam Concert, Cox Arena. And we'll see you on Saturday at the Goodwill. For any more information about this stuff, check out our website. And it's all there. So that's it for the Banana Bunch Report. Thanks for watching.